even explain why I disappear or not left you guys hanging. Um, I don't want to say that life's been crazy, but I feel like that's an excuse every single time. But I honestly cannot express how sorry I am. So what happened is the last video that I posted, I had a vlog coming up after that. I tried uploading that video several times to YouTube for at least a two week period. And it kept uploading half of the video, which made it so annoying because it was a very time consuming video. I took my time, I announced the giveaway winner. By the way, I know Christmas has gone, but this is a um, PayPal giveaway so like you to use it for yourself by yourself that you want it for Christmas hopefully it helps out some way but with that being said I wanted to share a snippet of what I did for Christmas most of the stuff is gone I share most of them on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram it's so much more easier to connect with me through Instagram but YouTube with my computer I just don't know I haven't found anything that works for me just yet I really want to give up on Final Cut Pro in my computer it's not just vlogging all to get on my phone I feel like it'd be so much easier less work less stress but anyway, I definitely apologize and I want to show you guys what I did to my home for Christmas. So this is going to be a breakdown of Christmas um, and then um, I'll share a snippet of videos that I did on my Instagram if you want to see how my home looked like during the holiday. It was just super busy, jam-packed with kids activity and travel so I didn't really like vlog. Um, as much as I would want to and after that shouldn't happen with my that video. I just Lost I was discouraged. I was honestly discouraged because I feel like every time I want to stay consistent with YouTube There's always a bug somewhere with upload. So I would try to just like set aside my main camera and just do vlog through my phone it doesn't matter if it's not the best quality but at least you guys will get some kind of consistency versus me using a professional camera uploading having issue with exploring like it's just it was just a mess for y'all i do apologize to you guys what i have done and then i'll show you guys a snippet on how it looked like during christmas because everything everything is about to break down right now so it's a little everywhere but at least you guys get to feel how i took what i had done to my home during the holiday season so for my entryway this is what i did i had um just candles around my council table i pair or i layer um, garland right here and then also I had a wreath on top of this mirror and I absolutely love the simplicity of it I had a little reindeer right here that I got from so this is a bound from Artie's and this reindeer is from Pottery Born so I kind of did like a little <laughs> a little scarf for the call uh, the reindeer which I thought was like super cute um, but yeah, this is what I did for my main entryway console tape. In my formal living room and also my entryway, I had this huge Christmas tree that I got. Mini um, Colin from Kirkland's. And then I love how this tree looks at night. I Let me actually turn it on. Super pretty and it has a little fairy light is just such a beautiful tree um, I definitely keep my eyes on it when it does come back in stock because this tree is definitely worth the hype it was a viral tree that went all over social media and I can see why it went viral because it's that beautiful and it's worth every single cent so in my FOMO living room this is how I had my FOMO living room all style right now I started getting stuff that I bought off season so I have a box right here and then also things that I was able to add on to what I currently have for Christmas um, 
for next year i'm gonna stick with the same color palette but yeah i just love how this space look and then um, right here we did move the frame tv to this side and then i'm not sure if i'll change the console table i don't even know at this point but i just did a little styling moment don't mind this hallway hubby and i are discussing whether we're going to turn this space to a pantry or just leave it off so right now i have the standalone pantry from ikea there and then once i break the christmas tree down we're going to have a full tree right here in the corner where the lamp is and then I need new curtains for this space. I shared that in that video that just went upload. But yeah, guys, I feel like this space really, 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 really makes me so, so happy. I'm so happy I swap rooms. Also, I'll be swapping the accent chair. So these will be going back to the family room as well. For my family room right now, this is real life. We've been hanging out here, enjoying time here. And... I did an update on my YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. I did an update on my Instagram of what my hubby did. So right here we have the fire fireplace mount bracket. So we close. He closed this whole area out. Makes it very easy to watch TV because you know, TV over the fireplace can make your neck hurt. So having that adapter really, really. It's helpful. It is um, it is adjustable to left to right, like it can swivel from different direction, if that makes sense. But we've been hanging around here, and this is how I have the tree that I didn't share with you all. But like I said, I'll implement videos, and also once I have it clean, I'll probably just like implement that here. But we were just like chilling and having family time here this is how it looks like lit and i kept like the decor very simple all the pillows that i had i currently um had like it's part of the pillows that i use every single time the only pillows that i added that was new are all these little pillows that i got from um rd they're like 10 bucks like all these are like pillow from rd but yeah it it looks so good in here is gone i bought out my boston hill box for this tree collar i'm going to take this tree out i also decorated our best master bedroom just with a bare tree and that also came down and went into the attic but um yeah i think once i take this tree down i'll feel so much better about where i'm going with everything so um for this tree i kept it very minimal um let me show you guys how it looks like lit so here is the aesthetic with the tree lit it looks so good i absolutely love this tree that i added a few things to my christmas stuff this year because the perfect time to shop for christmas decor is off season so if you haven't had the chance to check cb2 these are like hanging kind of like candy can but like they're metal these are the this is the silver one and i also have here is the gold so i got i believe five of the gold and seven or eight of the silver and i also got glass white ornament bowls some of them are like very like iridescent so i really really love that i realized how much i was missing out on just nice ornaments. Um, I kind of have the, the intensity to just splurge more on my ribbons, which is nothing wrong with that, but I got rid of a ton of ton of Christmas decor this year. That wasn't my style anymore that I used for like many, many more years. So I switched over and then I added these to my collection. So this is my idea process for next year. I might do like brown and white or just like a white and um, 
silver tree so i thought like brown and white would be like so pretty and then yeah we'll see how it goes but you guys i have to get to work because it's quite a lot to remove not a lot because i didn't do a lot but it's just like trying to put everything back and add it back in a safe place back in one piece is going to take me a while so i'll check in on you later so that'd be a wrap for this video i didn't want to disappear altogether and i also wanted to announce the giveaway winner thank you so much for being such a loving sweet followers always messaging or commenting on all my videos i just want to say thank you send me an email and i also reach out to you make sure it goes on to the right hand and i also want to thank all my followers all together for being so sweet and supportive i feel like the lord is leading me to different areas of my life so i won't be doing hauls anymore on my channel um, i'm trying to live a more content lifestyle also find ways to grow my faith and still take care of my home so i want to implement more of that into my channel and i hope you guys can stick around for that i'm still trying to figure it out but anyway thank you all so much i hope you guys can understand and i just want to be loyal to what i feel like god is leading me to i'm not a minister didn't go to school for it but i feel like we can still do home take care of our home and implement god in between take care of our family and implement god between building a sisterhood because we cannot do this walk alone but i feel like god is leading me to this point so until next time i see you all very soon